okay dear students let us see this question an electron traveling with the speed v perpendicular to the magnetic field of strength b experiences a force f what is the force acting on alpha particle traveling at 2v parallel to the magnetic field of the strength 2b so there are a couple of changes that they have done first of all they have given that there is an electron that is traveling with the speed v perpendicular now that is the most important word in this question perpendicular to the magnetic field and the force that is being acted on it is f now in the second case there is an alpha particle so the charge on this is plus 2 and charge on electron is taken as minus 1 so the charge is double technically and it is traveling at double the speed so it is 2v and the magnetic field is also doubled but the problem is now it is moving parallel to the magnetic field now what is the formula to find the force on the charged particle so i believe it must be written in your book i am giving you two formations for that vector as well as scalar so the vector formation is q into v vector cross b vector and the scalar formation for the same is given by qvb sine theta where theta is the angle between v velocity and b magnetic field see the first equation the first expression is the vector expression for the force and the second one is the scalar that is it has only the magnitude not the direction so we need to consider sine theta so what is this sine theta now let us uh, go a little deeper and uh, try to understand what is happening here this is the magnetic field b and let us say an electron or a charged particle alpha or positive or whatever they are entering this at some angle now this angle is not 90 degree they are entering like this now if it was like this it will be 90 degree perpendicular which is the case number one the case for the electron because it is given that it is entering into the magnetic field perpendicular so this will be the velocity vector for the electron but when it comes to uh, alpha particle it is moving parallel to the magnetic field so basically alpha is moving like this so this is completely changed now so if there is a charged particle that is moving at some angle here this angle will be taken as theta so this will be the formula that we would be using now in case number two when alpha particle is moving parallel to the magnetic field i can always say that the angle between velocity vector and the magnetic field vector will be zero so i will substitute this in our formula so sine zero we know will become zero so at theta is equal to zero degree we can say that the force that is being acting on the charged particle that will come out to be equal to zero so our answer will be a just because the alpha particle is moving parallel to the magnetic field let us uh, verify it from the mark scheme and yes the answer is a i believe i will be very clear to you so this formula is very important qvb sin theta so with this all the best bye